production is a major economic activity that is important to the progress of any country. Producers with the production input use various types of resources and materials to produce goods and services for the consumption of each and every individual. Studyfinance.com defines production as the process of making or manufacturing goods and products from raw materials or components. In other words, production takes inputs and uses them to create an output which is fit for consumption. A good or product which has value to an end user or customer. The goal of economics is the most efficient allocation of resources. With that in mind, business firms must create products and services that are valuable. These outputs satisfy the needs and wants of consumers who are willing to pay for them. This creates an economic cycle of production and consumption. A farmer of rice took his produce to the market where Filipino consumers can buy them for consumption. She made an income and deducted the production cost. He grossed profit, so he decided to increase his production. He decided to add a variety of rice grains. After six months, the farmer was selling rice grains. Not only he made a huge profit, he was able to invest on equipment that would further improve his farm. She also purchased some lands. Supermarkets started carrying her rice brand. He was able to get clients from nearby regions as well. To meet the huge demand, she hired additional farmers and laborers. In the span of three years, the farmer became the biggest supplier of rice in Isabela. The local government of Isabela approved a budget on infrastructures and creating farm-to-market roads. Now, the farmer can supply rice to Metro Manila. This situation is an example of how an efficient production can satisfy the needs of individuals and, in return, will result to economic development of a region or a country.
also known as natural resources. They are the raw materials needed as ingredients for manufacturing various products. Resources are renewable and non-renewable. Keeping in mind that scarcity is a constant problem of economics, we should practice responsible consumption and efficient production. Even oil and other fossil fuels are considered non-renewable if taken into consideration the increasing rate of usage of these resources by various countries. A pack of noodles. Its main ingredients are all from nature. Flour, water, the bits and pieces of meats such as beef, pork, and chicken. Dehydrated vegetables and the seasoning, such as salt and MSG. These are all from the nature, processed into ingredients, packed as an instant noodles, found on the shelves of the supermarket and convenience stores. Capital can be financial and physical. The first kind of capital simply refers to the funds used to start up and maintain a business. Along with this, in maintaining a business venture are the physical capital, like building, machines, equipment, tools, and other materials. Labor is a production input that acts as a catalyst in this process. Resources and capital cannot act alone. Therefore, it is the human aspect of production that prepares and ensures that production takes place. A business enterprise that heavily relies on physical capital still need humans to operate those machines and equipment. Whether it's physical or mental labor, white-collared or blue-collared, labor is a production input that must not be overlooked. Labor is a human capital that is a backbone of a country's economy. Without skilled labor force, the economic progress of a country is hampered. An entrepreneur has to consider the factors of production and the production functions for the business venture to succeed. Production function studies the relationship between the input and the output of production. He or she has to examine if the two are working efficiently to ensure that production is productive and profitable. To simply put it, the entrepreneur combines the three factors of production to earn profit. An entrepreneur should exhibit various skills that would enable the business to succeed. During the first and second phase of industrial revolution, many scientists who developed inventions were funded by entrepreneurs. This collaboration resulted to massive technological advancement in the field of manufacturing, transportation, communication, and energy production. Fast forward to the fourth industrial revolution of the 21st century, we now have the likes of Bill Gates of Microsoft, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook, Howard Schultz of Starbucks, Phil Knight of Nike, and Sergey Brin of Alphabet are some examples of entrepreneurs that have changed the face of business and the world economy. What are the inputs needed in production of processed cheese? A cheese can be produced in a household or in a big manufacturing plant. Regardless, the milk that a cattle produces is the main ingredient in cheese making.
cattle and the resources needed to raise them healthily are all from the nature. Farm and the equipment for cattle raising venture are the capital. With regard to cheese production, additional ingredients are salt, sugar, vegetable oil, which are also from the nature. The workers must carefully follow the recipe for a successful cheese product. The method of processed cheese production is highly mechanized. Machines are used. They are operated and maintained by the workers. Some workers are in charge of the packing. The entrepreneur has to carefully think of the branding and packaging of the cheese. Variations in flavor and innovation are essential to be able to stay in the competitive market of processed cheese. Economics is important because of the reality that is called scarcity. Humans have needs and wants as stated in the Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs. These needs and wants are unlimited. Sadly, our natural resources are not, whether as a producer a distributor or as a consumer, or from the government, business, and other sectors of the society, they should work together to ensure that the process of production, distribution, and consumption is smooth, organized, efficient, and most of all, sustainable. If not, countries and their citizens may face a problem of shortage, recession, or depression. From production, distribution, and consumption, each and every one of us has a role to play to preserve and protect the resources that the Mother Nature has gifted us. These resources are finite as the world population approaches to 8 billion so does the unlimited wants and needs of the people. The economic growth of a country is useless if the environment is in a sorry state. If we are to meet our present needs and wants, the future generation should be able to meet theirs as well.